you um are you a big like anime guy? Yeah, like, well, I wouldn't necessarily call myself like a weeb or anything, but I, I am a big dabbler of anime. Nice, dude. Um, what would you say is like what is like your top three animes of all time, like in order that uh, you've seen? So Attack on Titan and Code Geass tie at number one for me. And then number two. Uh, it's probably got to go to an OG. It's probably got to be like Dragon Ball just because of like the cultural impact that had that changed the game. Number three is a full blown toss up. I, I might give number three to something like a Jujutsu Kaisen because I think it's like the best shonen. Why? What about you? Are you big weed um, otaku? Not, like not really. Um, My favorite show ever. And this is weird. But um, I'm like I wouldn't ever put anime over regular shows. But there's one show. It's Death Note. I think. Oh, dude, you're a Death Note guy. Yeah. After the first hour, I was hooked. Yeah. Like I didn't. I don't think I streamed like for two days. I was watching that show. So well, you recently watched it then? Um, no, I was streaming. It was probably like two, three years ago. Okay. I'd say I just. I, it was like it took over my life for like a week and a half. I'm not proud of it, but it was the best show I've ever seen. Death Note is fire. Death Note is like one of those gateway animes. Back in the day, that was what was huge on YouTube was anime reuploads. You do it into three parts, and Death Note was always on the front page when they used to have most viewed for the day. It yeah. was big. Dude, Death Note that is like so many people in the anime. Oh my god. I would say like if I'm trying to get someone into anime, that would be the show I recommend. Death, Death Note, Note. Definitely a good one. It's so it's so convertible too, because most of like the people that they're not gonna immediately get into like Jujutsu Kaisen, because that's really anime, or even like Attack on Titan, but like Death Note, it gives you that like crime thriller, yeah. like murder. It like it's very, it's very like transferable to people. You it's know very I mean? grounded. Like you can yeah. immediately start responding to it because it, it's real world stuff with like some fantasy elements. Yeah, the fantasy elements, like obviously all anime, but it's very it shows like just how corrupt people normally are. And yeah. just it's a good show. Like I would say, I would say after that, probably I don't know if I have like a two and a three because I'm kind of a shithead. Like, I haven't finished Naruto Shippuden. I haven't finished Hunter x Hunter. Um, I'm a shithead. I haven't even finished One Piece. Um, by the way, where are you in your One Piece journey? I'm still on Fishman Island arc, which is like 550-something. It, it's so boring. I hate Fishman Island so fucking much. He, he just turned and looked at me. He's like, yeah, that shit is trash. That, I, know, I know it gets super good after, but it is turbo ass right now. Yeah. I mean, bro... <laughs> Dude, that's so real because, bro, the biggest thing that stops me in One Piece is like when there's a shitty arc and I just, oh. and they're like, oh no, it's not filled or you got to watch. I'm like, dude, like, <laughs> and there's, there's quite a few of those, man, especially early on. There are some stinkers, like straight up clunkers in the beginning of One Piece. Yeah. Um, okay. Interesting. 